to learn the move and then, um, I mean, whether you go to, I mean, you could go to Gobi's Valley first and then come back, but, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you go to first, because, uh, you need to move, you need to move from Freezy Peak in Gobi's Valley. And there's Gobi's Valley, opening just for us. And if you keep going, you can see, you can get a preview of what the next world's going to be, which I'm not going to go to right now. Don't want to spoil it for those of you, those like three people who have watching this video that haven't played this game. <coughs> oh yeah, we're done with that for now. We're going to Gobi's Valley. And yeah, I think I'm going to uh, save... Oh, wait a minute. Let's activate this cauldron over here. I think I'm going to come back to Freezy ZP instead of You guys know what I'm trying to say. Yes, there's a shortcut. But, uh, yeah, we'll do Gobi's Valley, then we'll come back and get the last Jiggy in, uh, Freeze CP as well as the, uh, Lair Jiggy. Is there something else in this room? I thought I heard there being something hidden. Was it just eggs? I guess it's just eggs. Monsters chase you, they're a hounding. Then you'll get a grunty pounding. Okay. Before we go, let's go talk to Grunty's sister. Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful sweaty Betty. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts in Guts magazine. Don't really, Grunty. I didn't know you were into that kind of thing. Um, let's just keep going. While well, sipping a glass of her favorite camel spit milkshake. Uh, how appropriate since we're actually going to Gobi's Valley. Every video game needs to do a desert world and a nice world. Joker, what's rain? <gasps> I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, Spark Breath? Kazooie, like some feathers help? Oh, need water. Help. Okay, two things. First off, I did not get that joke as a kid until... Well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't get that joke when I was that young. And second off, he's surrounded by water. Can't we just scoop up some... Wa find a bucket and scoop some water up or something? Or can't he reach his trunk? Or reach his, one of his... That it's long enough to reach the water. Uh, would you call that Nintendo logic? Because it's actually a rare game. This was originally on the Nintendo console, so you could count it. I have to fight the giant hand of death. The happy hand of doom and death. That's just so gruesome, it makes me laugh. You know, now that I played a version, I'm never going to... I'm not going to be able to forget. Those hands are going to make me think of the version from now on. <laughs> Especially if you haven't played that game, just Google it. It's a free war game. For those of you who like, uh... Well, it's... I'm not going to bother explaining it. Most of you know it is anyways, probably. This is just a delicious game. Right, let's just tackle these jiggies as we see them. I missed. Hey. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. For some reason it wasn't working. Ugh, oh, the clear Jinxie's nose. Come on in. I'm down here. Got a few things we can collect. That was bad. There we go. Let's see if we can pull this off. Hey, we did. <sighs> Yay, another 
jiggy. I wouldn't exactly call this one hand up, because you do have to work to get it. It was pretty easy. Oh, that's a big one. Ow. Right, you can't have to run to the side to get past the big ones. Ugh. I already know which one's going to comment now that I said that. I think I mentioned in a previous Let's Play, but anytime someone uses, in a video uses the word hard or big, someone's going to comment this, and I'm not even going to bother saying saying it because you guys can scroll down and see. I'm sure someone's commented by now, unless you're the person who's going to comment. Never mind, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Except for these, then realize you have you haven't got the move to open this area up. You have to go back and collect every single note all over again. So the best pattern is to definitely go to Freeze Z Peak first, since you won't miss out on notes. Hello, my friend. Hey, Ruby. Can I be of some help? No. You're looking for a treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes. What he's talking about is that treasure way up there. How do you get that? Simple. Uh -huh. A thousand thanks, my friend. His tough will now help you with your quest. Jiggy. I always think there's a Jinjo in here, but it's probably because of his little pet. What exactly is that guy? It looks, it looks, it looks and sounds kind of like a Jinjo. Is it like a larval? Is it Jinjo's larval form? Anyway, so that will close behind us, I believe. Well, there's a... Bottles. These are running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Crocodile can do it too. Well played, Benjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. So, yep, so that's the last move. So explaining should be done now. Except for my unintentional explaining, I'm not really not even paying attention. Yeah, this is kind of this chick over here is kind of annoying. If you can get 
vintage shoes. Because it almost never lets you do it on your first try. Because I'm supposed to do this whole cutscene as the timer's going of it opening. But you're fast. Just ignore those pickups because stopping for them will mean you're, gonna, you're not going to make it in time. You barely got enough time as it is, even with the speed shoes. I saw that. That wasn't fair. Okay, forget what I said, game. Forget what I said, game. You you do have glitches. It's just that I didn't discover any until now. You felt though. I got in and it closed at the last second, but I slid right through the wall instead of sliding down into the. Uh, whatever. I almost ne I never gave it my first try anyway. Knowing that the timer starts right when you hit the switch and it doesn't let you move because it just has to show you a cutscene. This is a cutscene. You cannot shoot me during this cutscene because it's a cutscene and you have to wait until I land. I have landed now. The cutscene is over. Oh, it does that every time? That's not only did it the first time. So technically, this, it could be 25 seconds, but technically only get uh, 20. Get in there this time. Thank you. As you can see, I'll give you barely enough time to do that. Now here, you swim down. Watch out for the mummies. Click that. that opens the the door, which drains the water. Where is the water going? Down there. And magically, there's plant life down there now instead of sand. <laughs> 